Is it okay to record this for educational purposes to yes. the unknown patient? Thank yes. you. Okay for you as well? Absolutely. Thank you. Okay for you as well, Doc? Yes. Thank you. This is an ankle ulcer. How long have we been treating this for, Doc? Months now, right? Mm -hmm. like months. Two months. Two months. Two. This is what you call mechanical debridement. A debridement is performed with or without the 15 blade when it's scrubbed with the saline gauze. Granular base, good bleeding base, so that's when we know that when we close. If there was no bleeding, that's when there's not enough blood flow, so we'd have to send the patient to vascular testing to see if the, we can improve the blood flow. Let's do zinc oxide directly to the wound and just put there on top. Without, and then we, and then I'll, I'll, I would suggest we put an ace bandage on top of that because that'll be easier for the patient. So that's what we call social determinant of health. We see what the patient has, what they can do, what is situation, and we determine the treatment based on the patient's ability to effectively uh, follow the instruction. Zinc oxide. Well, she must have had a good review from you if you came back. Yes. Perfect. So you can take that. Toward you. Like yeah, the, this. the bubbles up, right? Yeah. yeah no, this. More importantly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. That's kind of like common sense. All right. Okay. And it's not going to stick on there, mm -hmm. but we'll go ahead and have your wrap, or you can always use paper tape. You will get an extension. These are reusable. So what it does, it gives you a little extra slack, a little more space, and it's the same exact end that you're used to seeing. This is just gonna give you a little extra length. And this is reusable, so you'll throw the dressing away and keep this. All right, and see now that looks exactly the same as it did. One quarter turn, and that's it. You're up for the races, you're all going. Cool. All you'll do is just take the unit off when you're getting ready to take a shower right. and go with your normal routine. How's that feel? Fine. All right, I don't want it to be tight. I just want to be just tight enough not to fall. All right, let's keep it on this side since your wound is over here. Let's just keep this okay. over here just to keep safe measures. I'm gonna keep this in here just so you remember and have them all zipped up. All right. That's the battery, right? Yep. Charge it every day. Mm -hmm. So when this is getting low, your little um, battery lights will go down here. The only time this will beep at you is when the battery's getting low okay. or if you need to change your dressing. But since you're doing routine dressing changes, that shouldn't happen. Okay. Where does it indicate if it's battery low on there? Right here. So you'll be getting right here into the little... Into the red? Yeah, oh, okay. into the red. Gotcha. Once it's on the last little button here, that's when it'll send you a beep okay. just to notify you. Okay. But... You'll all you always do is have charge that. the battery up and then yep. just hook Got it up it. again. Mm -hmm. And when that's all, this is all charged, you just put that back on the wall. All right, we're gonna put him in his little pocket. This you can just go ahead and put right in here. I like to put it on top just to save you a little bit of room. All right, and you have plenty of slack, which is perfect. Okay. You look great. Beautiful, any questions?